Now broadcasting on your favorite podcast platform, it's the Maverick Do It Different Podcast with your host, Paul Fink, the Maverick Millionaire. When you want to step up and dare to be different, when you will dare to be great and live up to your fullest potential, when you are ready to dare to be a maverick and live the life of your dreams filled with abundance, passion, and joy, then it's time to listen to me, Paul Fink, the Maverick Millionaire, and the Maverick Do It Different Podcast. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to this edition of the podcast. And I got to tell you, I'm so excited because today we are interviewing one of my favorite authors in our newest, newest book. Oh, and by the way, I'm Paul Fink, the Maverick Millionaire. I am your host here, and we are excited to share this information with you today. Today, we are introducing our newest book in the Maverick Millionaire Publishing House. It is the Network Marketing 2.0 Revealed. And this is all about network marketers, their successes, and really what's making the difference in our future of this industry. And today is a special guest, Laura Klein. She's got 29 years of executive level experience in direct sales. So real treat. She is the founder of the Laura Klein Group, which helps entrepreneurs, of course, and small business owners thrive, not just survive. Laura Klein, welcome. It's such a pleasure to have you here. And um, just want to uh, get everyone prepped for just some great words of wisdom with everything that's been going on in your world and what you have to share with us. Let's go back to the beginning now. How did you get involved in direct sales? Great question. And I always love to share that story, Paul, because I never thought that was in my future. It wasn't even on my radar. I was teaching special needs kids at the time and I was a single mom and I was had always too much month left at the end of my money. And a friend of mine reached out and said, hey, Laura, I have this opportunity that might interest you. And, and right away when she told me, I was like, uh, you know, it's not for me, not for me. And then as she kept pressing, I finally caved in and said, okay, I'll read some literature. Let me, let me see what you got to offer. So I kind of read it and I thought, oh man, I just don't know if this is for me, but what the heck, I'll give it a try. I was still teaching. And once I started um, that career and it was very part-time for me in the beginning, I realized, oh my gosh, I can make a career doing this. I love it. I love selling a product I believe in. I love helping others. And it just fit. And it's funny because 29 years ago, um, I had said to her, could I make $500 a month doing this? And she said, well, I don't know, but pretty sure you can. You know, there's no guarantee. But right away I did. And then I got hooked. So that's kind of how I got started. It, it is such a common story in, in that no, 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 no. And then you take a look. And it, one of the things that I encourage everyone to do is really be open, open to the opportunities that present themselves every day because you never, never know. Mm -hmm. With everything that you've go, been going on, you've created some mantras, if you will, business mantras. Um, share with us. So one of the things, um, it's funny, I was told early on in, in my direct sales career, if you really want to be successful and get to the top, you only have to work half days. And I thought only half days. I mean, I'm putting in 40 plus hours a week being a teacher more than that, probably. Yes. And I thought half days, that sounds like a dream come true. Well, little did I know half days meant, well, half of 24 hours is 12 hours a day. Right. So there's no, you know, no dream story that says you just hop into direct sales or, you know, a network marketing company and just going to turn, um, turn it around and, and be successful in a short amount of time. It takes work and it takes effort. And one of my business mantras, um, and I have this on my LinkedIn banner, and it says, when you, when you get tired, learn to rest, but never quit. And that is really what this is all about, yeah. is not giving up too soon. I see too, too many people give up too soon when their next person to add to their team is right around the corner. Maybe their next sale is right around that corner. So I, I find that people just give up way too soon. It, it is not um, a business that's for the faint of heart. It's for people that see a vision and are willing to stick with it, even when things, you know, it's a cyclic business. So it goes up, it goes down. You just got to stay the course. 
so powerful, and especially with what's been going on the last couple of years in our world, the the ones that are succeeding now and the ones that are here with us on the podcast and the authors, the co-authors in our book and all those, all the people that are kept on in this process are the ones that are showing up to be the true leaders now in this new world. And so many people have fallen by the wayside because they literally just put their head under the under the covers and have stayed there for way too long. Right, that is correct. And it's such a shame. Love, love your pups. They're going crazy. Um, the uh, uh, and it's such a shame though because our our fullest potential is inside of us, and so many people die leaving it there rather than letting the world see it. And uh, so we share in that message: never, never, never quit. No question. So people that are getting involved in network marketing and like you and I did the same thing, no, no, no. And then I started looking and, and watching what was possible and got involved. How does someone actually succeed? Actually climb the ranks, actually create that magnitude of results. Well, I apologize for my pups because they I do foster, I do a lot of uh, work on the side. And so they're in the background. Sorry about that. Um, oh, no, it, it's okay. And before you answer that question, I got to remind everyone, one of the greatest things about network marketing and about being an entrepreneur is you get to do it from home, that's right. whether you have, you know, pups as your children, real children, or a combination of all of the above, you have a life and you can create that life and live it every day. So I want to tell you, that's a reminder to all of us, man, we can do this everywhere. I am in my home. Laura's in her home. And for all of you that are looking at this, that are in corporate America and being forced to go back into an office, be aware there's an alternative life that yes, you should be living. There is. And I appreciate that comment. I, I actually um, raised five children in during my direct sales career. And I had all kinds of interruptions coming in, you know, Sally stepping in my shadow. And I'm like, oh my gosh, kids, you know, puppies. How, how old are your kids so, now? Well, now they're, they're grown adults. And, you know, it's interesting, Paul, because you, I'm going to go back to and answer your question here in a bit, but yep. what's really interesting is I, you know, sometimes there's a lot of guilt when you're growing a business and you're trying to grow it fast and you're very committed um, to the process. I never felt a lot of guilt because I, I felt that I was doing my children. I was teaching them that there's more to this world than that traditional course that we've been taught by society that we should take, which is go to school, graduate. I went, I got a college degree because that's what my family, that's kind of the expectation is you go to school, you get a degree and there's nothing wrong with that course of action, as I mentioned in, in my chapter, but there's so much more out there. So back to your um, question and I, I would love to answer it is, what is the tip? How do, how can you reach those levels of success? I think it's pretty easy. I think it's having a vision, knowing where you're going, and just taking enough people along with you on that journey and not thinking of it as I'm going to build this because I'm benefiting. No, I'm going to build this because I want to take others on this journey so they can experience the same things I'm experiencing. So I think it's just having a vision. I always say people don't want to follow people into a dark cave, but if you tell me how you're going to get from point A to point B and how you're going to get out of that cave, I'll probably follow you. So it's, it's having a, I want to follow people. I want to surround myself with people that know where they're going. So I think that's the first tip is to know where you're going. Have a vision. People are attracted to people that have that vision and the tenacity to, to get through those rough times these last 18 months. So stay in the course. People want to be around strong people. Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah, that are tenacious. We, we, we could have a, a full day training and carry this conversation on the whole, the whole day about that one topic. Yes. The, the magnitude of having a vision and of exhibiting, uh, and, you, and you were talking about that at the, at the very end, exhibiting that confidence mm -hmm. in it and sharing that confidence. People will follow you anywhere. Yes. When you're doing that, and that's how you build the team mm -hmm. to really create the magnitude of results for everybody. Mm -hmm. 
And it's, uh, yeah, so often they, they miss the vision. So they don't express that even internally for themselves. They don't share it. And then they don't exhibit the, just the utmost confidence in it that will give other people the confidence to follow. And those are okay. such keys. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. Totally. The, the, uh, the, the magnitude of those components combined with the perseverance of never quitting uh, really can play, just play out to create either zero or just your mega success um, by those differentials. Yes, and I also want to add too that credibility is also important. So I run into a lot of people that I call them jumpers. They go from one thing to the next and they never allow themselves to gain credibility. And, and those people are hard to follow because they do jump. And I think the jumping comes from, well, I tried that. They don't give it enough effort, but I, I'm going to the next thing. Uh, that didn't work. I'm on to the next thing. If you keep jumping, you really, really damage your credibility. So people are looking for people that have a vision. They're looking for people that are credible. Um, I'll follow anybody if they have a vision and they have credibility and, the, and they have a good work ethic. So I think credibility is a really important thing. And, you know, I have switched companies um, in my career, but that wasn't by choice. That was opportunity. One company was kind of closing their doors and then I found, you know, my next company. So um, I just think that sometimes people get themselves into trouble. And when you damage your credibility, it's going to be hard to gather your flock, if you will, to want to come and join you on the journey. So credibility is extremely yeah. important. Yeah, it, it's an it's a interesting concept because it, it doesn't mean that you don't necessarily change, but there's got to be a reason for changing. And the reason isn't because, oh, well, it looked nice, but I was wrong. W what? <laughs> Like, wait, the person next to you is making, making money and succeeding. How come you're not? Right. What's the difference? It's not the company. Right. It, it, exactly take, right. Take, take a real close look. It's you. It, there's so often, and I went through like 20 years of, of background of, of being an entrepreneur before I found huge success. And it was, it was really understanding that when this isn't working, this isn't working, this isn't working, <laughs> you better start looking internally because you're the common denominator, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, so, so powerful. Yeah, these are, you know, if we had to boil down, like, what is it that makes the difference? And you talked about work ethic. Uh, you talked about perseverance. You're talking about that, that vision and really being that credible leader. Um, and walking the talk is, is sounds like that's um, so much of what you're what you're expressing is uh, being the person. Yeah. And I know with everything that you're doing, you're you're exhibiting that yourself, and it it shows. Yeah, and I think that's the other part of leadership is I never ask anybody on my team to do anything that I'm not willing to do. So if you want followers and you want people to come and do what you're doing, then you have to do it. Yeah. You have to do it and then teach it. And though some will, some won't, and we all know what happens. So it's just, there's so many people out there willing to work. We just have to keep looking and they're out there. There's people out there that are wanting a different kind of lifestyle. And they, and they not only, um, you know, the financial benefits of what direct selling and network marketing can do for somebody. But to me, I tell people, you can't put a price tag on freedom. And I feel like I have ultimate freedom in my life. Here, here. What, how long, so you've been in um, direct sales for 29 years. Yes. When did you leave like uh, any sort of semblance of a job? Okay, so yeah, I was, um, and, and you know, I had a lot of family members and I talk about this in the book. I had a lot of family members and friends that said, are you out of your mind? You're a single mother. You have the security of this nine to five job. You have tenure with this school district. Are you out of your mind? Right. And I thought, no, I'm not out of my mind. I'm just trying to think out of the box here. I don't want to be in a classroom and I'm not, teachers are the most amazing people on this planet, but I didn't see my, I just, it just wasn't fulfilling 
my aspirations. That's all. And I knew there was more. Um, so my family was like, are you nuts? What do you, what do you mean you're going to go off and sell X, Y, and Z? That's crazy. So it took me, my goal was to make at least what I was making, um, as a teacher. And then I thought if I could make that and continue to see that over time, that I could have income replacement, then I'll walk away. Well, it wasn't income replacement. I had doubled my income within the first full year in, in yeah. business. And that's when I thought, okay, it's just keeps, you know, it's just that consistent income, seeing it and seeing the growth over time. I knew it was okay to walk away. And it did. My family was in shock. My, my father, God rest his soul. He just sat there and shook his head. And he said to me, I hope you know what you're doing. And if you ever, he always gave me that out. If you ever need to move in with me now, you know, if it doesn't work out. And I said, that's not an option. <laughs> I'm going to make it work. So looking back, you just got to take that uh, leap of faith and work hard, work hard and, and do what you say you're going to do and show people, show people that you did it. And, and that it goes back, you know, I, I did it. I showed people and it goes back to that credibility. So yeah, it, it took me probably a year. I stayed in teaching one more year just to make sure. Oh, sure. So, so you created a, a plan for transition. Yes. Only, so how long ago was that? That was, well, 28 years ago. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. So I jumped, I jumped ship and I even had teachers in the teacher's lounge whispering. They're like, Has she lost her mind. What is she yeah. crazy? And yeah. now, you know, then, you know, they come back to me now, they see me 29 years later. They're like, Oh my gosh, you did exactly what you said you were going to do. And you've lived an, an amazing life. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. And for everyone who's listening, it does take sometimes the 29 years before people come back full circle and go, Oh, I guess you were right. Yeah. yeah. And, and they start then reaching out to you for advice. Yes. Only don't expect it right away. Yeah. It oh, no. Well, there's pride and there's, you know, told you so, and, and it's all that. But most of my family members and friends have all come around and said, you know what, man, you definitely, you that's definitely awesome. proved it's wrong. So, and not that that's what my intent was. It's just people say things out of love and concern. Right. And, um, but you know, I wasn't going to listen. I always say, listen politely to the naysayers and do what your gut tells you to do anyway. Yeah. I was, I was in the same boat. I had six children, sole income provider for the family. And I've always been an entrepreneur. I've never worked for anybody a day in my life. And, and believe me, right out of college, went straight commission and my own company. And people are like, are you nuts? Are you insane? Yeah. And, and it's so for all of you, it, that freedom that it gives you mm -hmm. and the lifestyle that I now have because of the choices I made. Uh, really makes a difference. That's it. The money's great, but there's freedom is greater. Yeah. Yeah. What a great message. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, what's next for you? Well, so I did just start my company, Laura Klein Group, because I do have so many people that reach out and, and want direction and help. And I love small business. Small business makes up 99% of our global economy. And there's a lot of small business owners out there that are, in fact, you know, when you define what an entrepreneur is, it's anybody that starts a business, right? So my goal is to help these businesses and entrepreneurs thrive instead of just survive. And awesome. COVID really uh, punched us all in the gut. And I have a lot of sales strategies in my head that I just really want to share. And I know I can help people. So I'm still involved in my drug sales career. Um, and, and it's wonderful that I can do that, but that it, it has allowed me to pursue my ultimate dream, which is to have a company that, that can help others. So that's kind of where I'm headed now. I plan to do more writing. Um, I'm on a speaking gig right now. So I'm kind of doing some speaking. Just want to share my trials and tribulations and everything I learned in those 29 years, because I certainly didn't do everything right. But I did a lot right. And I want to share that with others so they can have maybe an easier journey of, you know, getting where they want to get to faster yep. and, a little, and a lot less painful. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So exciting. We got so much more ahead of us. That is great. So we've got a fun lightning round to, to close out. Okay. And so got a couple of questions for you. What's the book that you would recommend to our listeners? 
my favorite book in the whole world, Success Principles by Jack Canfield. Oh. Read the first chapter and you will get drawn in. And it's all about accepting 100% responsibility for everything you do, whether you have a failure or a success. We accept 100% of our responsibility for what we do. So favorite book. Yes, love it. Awesome. Yeah, love that one as yeah. well. Uh, favorite movie? You know, I have a lot of favorite movies. The one that stands out, I just love Jerry Maguire. I love that movie because it's a story about someone who it's all about belief and I, isn't, aren't we in the business of believing in others? Right. And sometimes we see people's potential before they do. Yeah. And in that movie, nobody else saw was willing to give him the time of day except Jerry, you know, Jerry Maguire. So I love that movie because it's kind of talks it, it reflects my, and it aligns with my career. Yep. No one thought I could do it. And then I hooked up with the right people, right company and I did it. So Jerry yeah. Maguire. That's it. Him and his goldfish. Yes. <laughs> and favorite singer and band. Oh, I'm a country girl. So I love anything country. I could name all these country bands. Um, Luke Bryant, I, I, I was first row on one of his concerts and I, yeah. I stared at him like a teenage girl. I don't think <laughs> he even looked at me, but I, I felt like he was looking at me, but I know he wasn't. There you go. Yeah, he's awesome. Luke Bryant. Awesome. Biggest passion? So I will tell you the older I get, the more I want to give back and serve others in the community. So I just recently um, became a board member for Feed My People. Awesome. I do a lot of fundraising for NAMI. I have someone in my family that um, struggles with mental illness. Um, I'm a dog lover, obviously. The podcast showed that. So I do a lot of fostering and fundraising for the local humane society and stray rescue of St. Louis. So giving back is really important to me. And again, my career choice has, has given me the freedom to be able to have the time to give back. And I'm doing more and more of that as, as I get older. So giving back total passion. Here, here. Yeah. You're here, here. Yeah. As we develop our careers and develop our profession and get it, create all the abundance we realize oh wait there's more yes and uh and the giving back is the is the rest of the story you betcha yeah How i want to live my last so many years so we'll see final words of wisdom we've got listeners all around the world uh all around the country every corner uh every walk of life you name it oh they're looking at this, they're listening to this, and they're, and they're scratching their head. All right, what do I need to know? What are words of wisdom that you can share with them? So probably my biggest words of wisdom is the chapter, the name of the chapter in, in, in the book that's about to be published, and that is follow your gut, you know, um, and not every decision we make is going to be right, but sometimes you have to believe in it before other people do. And if you work hard and you stay focused and you never get up and rest when you're tired, but never give up and you stay that course and you work those half days, you can have anything you want. If you're willing to have the vision, gain credibility of followers, talk to as many people as you can and just never, ever lose your drive, your vision and, and always remain passionate about what you're doing. Laura, we are on the same page on so many levels. Absolutely believe in everything that you're doing. Uh, words of wisdom for everyone to pay attention to. Absolutely. Everyone needs to go back and listen to this podcast one more time because there were nuggets every single moment. Thank you so much for being here. Laura Klein, absolutely. All her contact information will be right here in the description. So you want to reach out, you want to talk to her more, you want to find out what she's doing, go ahead and pay attention to the description here. You'll be able to reach out. We've got the brand new book that is just hitting now. So depending on when you're, you're listening to this, you're going to see it just around the corner, or you're going to already have access to it everywhere. Uh, this is Network Marketing 2.0 Revealed, and it's how everyday marketers are reshaping the industry for a new generation, and there definitely is a new generation coming. So 
pay attention. We have some amazing co-authors in the book as well. I am also there. So absolutely reach out, find it everywhere. It will be on Amazon. It will be in all the major distributors all around the world. And uh, the links are right here for you to buy your copy as well. So uh, love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much, Laura Klein. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. For all of you, this is Paul Fink. I am the Maverick Millionaire, and this is the episode of the Maverick Do It Different podcast, and we've been interviewing authors and is sharing with you the advice and the, the key components to really create a difference for you, because this is where we dare to do it different. Till next time, everyone. Thanks for listening to Paul Fink. That's me, the Maverick Millionaire and the Maverick Do It Different podcast. You can listen to us anytime, 24-7 on your podcast listening platform of choice. Introduce us to your friends. Give us five-star rating and subscribe and share us across all your social media platforms to anyone that could really utilize this message right now. Till next time, everyone.